Hello, welcome to the third weekend of the Hollow Weekend Readathon. I wanted to just kick off the vlog by sharing my reading plans, what I've been reading, and let's let's just get into it. So my priorities for this weekend, uh, Halloween by David Robbins. This is a very dated <laughs> book. I actually don't even remember when it was published. 1992. So it's about a group of kids who plan a prank on another kid. Actually, from what it's appearing uh, right now, like with what I've read, it looks like there's only two of the kids are in on like this prank that they want to do to get back at this other kid and the, uh, the rest of the group doesn't realize that that's what's going on. But they are going to these uh, caverns and they're going to do something to get revenge on this kid and um so far they're just now getting to the caverns it's halloween and they're gonna go do some spooky stuff but the main kid cody Corey, Corey is the one who's going to have the prank done to him apparently and he is suspicious as to why these kids invited him to go anyways because he's like the nerd the outcast and these are some of like the cool kids but he goes because one of the girls is like a girl he's had a crush on like since he was a little kid. They're all like seniors in high school. And um, one of the couples who are in this group of friends or kids, like the girl calls her boyfriend lover. It's annoying and gross and these boys, I mean like they're teenage boys. I'm not trying to be like boys will be boys, but they're just like pigs. <laughs> like, it's um, I think this is going to be a hard read in that I don't really like horror with a group of young individuals just being dumb. Like, I know we were all dumb kids at one point. It's it's fine, but uh, we'll see. Um, I don't think I'm going to like this too much. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Another one of my issues is that I am in a massive, massive fantasy mood. And this isn't fantasy, so we'll see. I'm gonna get another Goosebumps read as well, hopefully. Uh, you Can't Scare Me. This sounds like it's gonna be another one where a kid is trying to pull a prank on another kid and it turns around on them. Uh, I don't. This is number 15, so it's pretty early on in the publication of Goosebumps, but I don't remember this one. I don't remember if there was a TV episode either. Like, I don't remember this one at all. So, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be predictable, but I just, this isn't one that, if I did read it or whatever as a child, it's not one that really stuck with me. And then I'm also over 100 pages into The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. This is the final book in the Scholomance trilogy. I had no idea this was even coming out, like, anytime soon. And I didn't realize, I think the last one came out two years ago, which I thought it only came out last year. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, so I am reading this physically and listening to the audiobook. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm interested to see where it goes. So far, I'm not liking it as much as the other two. But I think it's now because we are like, actually, I almost just spoiled something. So I can't even say that. Um, but I'm going to keep reading this over the weekend even though it's not uh horror but like there's like monsters in it so like that could kind of count for something right um but yeah so those are my reading plans for now um I don't know what our fall activity will be this weekend um hopefully spend some time outside maybe if it's not too cold the leaves are changing and have been it's beautiful it's crisp and cold out. We've got Halloween candy and I did treat myself to an, an uh, apple crisp macchiato. Is that what that, that's called from Starbucks? So that was like a nice fall treat this morning while my son is at school and uh, yeah so no plans really this weekend. We'll have to see what we can get up to, and I'm going to get back to reading.
Okay, so I'm just going to apologize for any background noise because you can probably hear Encanto and my son singing along, <laughs> but um, let's do a reading update. So I finished Halloween by David Robbins. This book was not good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it wasn't good. A bunch of teens on Halloween night who decide to go into these caverns to play a prank on another kid and it ends up them being like, hunted down by these demon creatures and which is fine and well in and of itself but this is one of those books where the teens are like super horny like they're having sex and whatnot and these demons are after them like I just that wouldn't like be on my top priority if I was like falling into the pits of hell but whatever um and one couple they call the girl calls the boy lover and then there was another one that was really stupid, like honey buns or something. I don't know. And some of the references to like their pole and I just, no. Another one that was kind of a disappointment was The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. I finished this. I listened, I ended up listening to most of it and I'm kind of bummed about it because I used a Libro FM credit on it and I am very disappointed in this. And I can't even tell you why because uh, it, uh, everything that I would tell you that I was unhappy with is a, either a spoiler for this book or a spoiler for previous books. And so I don't want to do that. But um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's because I just came off of the Lock Tomb trilogy series. I don't know. There's just aspects of this book that just don't jive with me. So I'm kind of bummed about that. Uh, Halloween, I don't know what prompt, this must be the prompt of like, I mean, it could be Halloween cover colors. It could be takes place on Halloween, Halloween vibes, that kind of thing. And then the golden enclaves was just like extra what, what I was reading. Um, and then I, I am almost done with You Can't Scare Me, another Goosebumps book. This could be Halloween covers or Halloween word in the title. Um, so I'm hoping to finish this tonight. Uh, I participated in sprints last night, which is when I finished this. And then they've got sprints again tonight and I'll probably finish this during that. Um, but then I don't know what else horror, horror wise I'm going to pick up. I need um, an audiobook. But also, if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I am in a massive, massive fantasy mood. Like, I am back in the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, and I just just want to be in the fantasy realm right now. Um, so, I started Fire and Blood. I wasn't going to start this until the season House of the Dragon was done, but I just couldn't wait. So... I'm only one chapter in, which is 28 pages in, so it's probably going to take me a while to get through because it is like a history book, but um, I just, I'm obsessed. Like, I am in it, okay? Like, it's a problem. Like, my whole TikTok for you page is House of the Dragon stuff, Fire and Blood stuff, so. And I am so much in it <laughs> that I uh, made a Pango Books purchase so hopefully this is in decent condition oh it looks like it's in pretty good condition a little banged up but that's fine for a used book i got a knight of the seven kingdoms um this takes place a century before a game of thrones and it's about dunk and egg so a courageous hedge knight sir duncan the tall and then tagging along with him is his squire called egg and um it is illustrated but i think it's like a collection of three stories or like novellas i'm not 100 percent sure um but i had <laughs> i had to have it like i said i'm in it man i am i am in it because you know what if like i think i'm just super optimistic right now because i am wrapped up in this world but like what if we got winds of winter next year like what if or the year after that i don't know i don't know so um for our fall activity this weekend we made it to the very last farmer's market i think i put some clips in we made it to the library the library was having a book sale 
Um, we got some Halloween themed treats and uh, I think, yeah, that's it. Ran some errands, absolutely exhausted. All I wanna do is curl up and read, but I have a child, so I can't do that. I didn't really find anything at the library sale. I did find this book for 50 cents, How to Read Literature Like a Professor. It's something that's been on my radar for like many, many years, but for 50 cents, I just didn't wanna pass it up. And it's like an old copy, like whatever. Um, so it's just a practical and amusing guide to literature. Um, and I don't know, I don't really talk about classics and stuff a lot, but I do really like delving into a classic and it's symbolism and like uh, commentary on the times that it was written and things of that sort. I love that stuff. I probably should have like majored in it. So um, yeah, I just, it's something I enjoy. So I thought this would be like kind of a fun reference thing to have. And my house is getting a little wild. So I will hopefully finish another Goosebumps today and find something else to read. I don't know.